And there it is. The Sears rebadged Lucky Gold Star. when I was little thinking it was weird that only the stop eject button was shown. Uh, one year, eight program, 110 channel quartz. It does have automatic uh, programming on the tuner. Uh, tune liner, or t tuner and line, duh. Let me put that on, you see the AV pop up and it goes to the line and puts in the back. Uh, and we have tape speed, tracking, and sharpness. Another thing that always stood out to me about this, there's a few things that stood out to me about this VCR. One of them, which was the quick start record buttons, start and length, this being that they're blue, reset memory, and there's a channel. But I always love how the Sears VCRs did their HQ designation. And this is what the front panel display looks like. Now you saw I said one year eight program. Oh yeah, I gotta tell you about all this first. Hold on. This TV on the bottom, yeah, yeah everyone's had somebody someone some of you may have seen already, it's that nineteen seventy three Zenith Chroma color. Uh that's next to be worked on. It works, just there's no audio and I'm gonna be working on that next. However, when I acquired this TV, little did I know it was the same exact TV my grandmother had. <laughs> because I have pictures of it from you know, a family photo album, but also when we we bought this VCR for them, well guess what? It was on this TV. However, the same year we bought them that VCR in nineteen eighty eight, this TV broke. And this TV on top why I, st why I bought it in 2005 at a thrift store was my parents' first TV from 1981, an RCA XL100. I have several memories with this TV, one of which was when I was little, I mean real little, like two, three years old, it had rabbit ears on it, and we'd watch Price is Right and stuff in the basement. It was awesome. And 1988 comes, it was up in my room for a little while. Oddly enough, the most recent memory I've had of it was watching the Car Dennis the Menace cartoon on it. <laughs> then that TV went down my grandmother's, combined with that VCR. So that's even more special, so that's why I got this hooked up like this. Then, it gets better. This TV breaks in 1993, and then my grandmother throws it out. To be replaced with this TV, which she bought new old stock in 1993 from a store that Sama had still in the box. Now, again, that TV was just given away a few years later, but again, cool. The ACR gets mated with this TV. Perfect. Okay, back on track to what we were talking about. Here's what's weird. This is the only on-screen display, it's the menu, and uh, watch this, if you go to the calendar, look at the, what the calendar, it's a 99 year calendar, 1987 to 2086, <laughs> now let's see, we'll do, right now, we'll do October 08. There's a remote. I was always fascinated by this remote too when I was little. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's kind of cool. It has the little LED that lights up when you press the button. And the instruction manual. One thing I do remember, it has all, I mean, all the paperwork's there, including the little quick start guide and stuff. Uh, it's, One thing I do remember was in the manual, the visual search features. Look at this scary looking plushie on here. They, they use this to demonstrate the search effects. 
But the way it's black and white in the book, it looks kind of scary looking. But yeah. Now, picture quality on this thing is superb. I've gotten so used to using modern VCRs lately that, you know, I have a collection of vintage VCRs over there that I haven't used in quite a while. This two-head VCR blows away my newer VCRs. Okay, quick demo. This tape's a little bit odd. Um, let me explain this. This is a recording of me back in 1991 at my grandma's house. And for you'll get to hear me ranting about a box fan. With the box fan you'll see is a 1990 or 89 model Galaxy. But for a brief second or two, you also see this original TV that was on and this very VCR. Fortunately, I can't really do pause being a two-head machine, but I'll try. Here we go. There it is. Michael. See TV, and that's the VCR right there. Him, that's me. Hey, I brought my big box man on high all night. Yeah, though. I'm smaller than this. Well, again, what I said about it's a two-head VCR. It does have some of a frame advance. But anyhow, that's the TV, and that's the VCR on the bottom. Do it again. See, and then there's the VCR. Hey, that was I ran my big box now on high all night. Yeah, though. My room's smaller than this. There I am ranting about box games at age nine. So, you're going to sort of What do you mean? Yeah. Michael, well, you're going to sweat my already. Lay down and shut up. <laughs> you're going to. There I go with the fan. Right, let's keep it on low, okay? So you guys all don't get sore throats. They'll cover up later when they're sitting there. <laughs> that way you'll be so hot. Take a Maybe I should have brought my box being off. I can do whatever I want with it. What's wrong with you? I'll watch my Keep thinking. Well, because I couldn't really feel on high for this bit. Sarah. Sarah. Let's fight it to death. Let's fight it to death. Get some underwear. <laughs> oh, I don't see any underwear. Cause you're not you. <laughs> you can't see oh. that. I feel so. Insane. 